rise of icons like Muhammad Ali and James Brown are nothing new. The rapper Sean Booth has given a new spin to their stories and to Black History Month. It's February and it's freezing cold, but I'm making it through. I decided to meet up with Sean Booth at my favorite Ethiopian restaurant to have a candid conversation about Black History Month. So timely, you're doing the Unauthorized Biography series. The unauthorized copy. It's kind of like a Wikipedia page put to music. I created songs for these artists. I started off with James Brown. I just released another artist, another video every month. So we're doing 12 videos, 12 months, 12 icons. He even put out an album, threw a few sunny poems together, and called it I Am the Greatest. I really like the album. And in that 1960 Olympics victory, he declared himself the greatest. His eldest daughter, actually, she hit me up on MySpace saying, you know, just saying thank you. It was much more than some ego stroke. He knew he gave the poor people hope. That to me is important because, you know, especially when these artists are pa have passed away, people are very protective about, you know, everything that they represent because there's so many people trying to exploit that. It was character, it was charisma. Being someone that cares for us, you see, you read the final word champion to a category that the rest can't be in. And I know that the, the series is in promotion of your album. This is the new. Yeah, it is sort of in promotion of that, but at the same time, it's, this is just something separate from me. It's about the, percep the projection of image, a black image in the media, and using black history as an opportunity to focus on positive people. But contrary to racial profiling, all young black males are not prone to violence. To me, ultimately, it's about truth. That's what music is to me. It's about being honest about your experiences and expressing it creatively. 